Okay, this how-to video is going to show you the, the two different routing options um, when you're interactively routing inside the Cadence PCB tools. So if you invoke the, the Add Connect command, by default when you first start the tools, you, you've got effectively the active and alternative method. So that's invoke from root connect, the F3, or the, the icon up here, or when you click on a pad um, when you're in edit mode. So the active and alternative mode, effectively, you have an active layer and an alternative layer. So if I was to choose, say, the bottom as my alternative layer, you've got um, no available bars at the moment because I haven't got a net selected. So if I pick a pick a net, you'll now see effectively I've got a choice of two possible vias um, from the list. I can come along and I can double click the vias then add is and I'm then onto the next layer. If I double click again, and I'm effectively swapping the active and alternative layers. Now I can come along and double click that would then swap the layers and I could do a right click and change the active layer and choose a different active layer and I'm then rooting on the different active layer I can come up here and change the active layer or the alternative layer up here and make that choice as I'm rooting along so when I double click now I'm then going to go to the orange layer double click there go back to the top and I can finish the connection obviously a lot of clicks a lot of right clicks to try and choose the different layers that you want and um, not very intuitive or very interactive so that's that's one method and that's the default method when you first start the tools the second option is when we root so we invoke the command again we have the choice here to change the ALT to WL or working layer so this basically allows me to enable um, the working layers that I want to work with in this design um, so I can in and choose to include the planes or not. Obviously, if I disable the planes, I'm just going to get the four layers. Uh, I'm just going to have all layers are labeled here. Once I've done that, I click on close, and then I only get an active layer. So that active layer obviously would be uh, the side that I select. So if I pick the top pin, that will be the top. If I pick a bottom pin, that will be the bottom as the active layer. So I come along and I double click, and I now get a pop up at the directly at my mouse, and I can then choose which layer I want to go to. Um, so if I pick effectively um, the next layer, in this example, because I've got some blind and buried vias, it would give me the blind and buried vias to get to that, that next layer. If I'm going from there to the bottom, again, I would get the blind and buried vias to enable me to get to that location. If I double click again, in this scenario, I don't want to, I want to go to the top layer, but I don't want to use the blind and buried vias stack up option. I can click on effectively the double dot option, and that would then give me the two alternative vias that I've got in my via list. This is controlled by the via list in Constraint Manager, so I would then get the through hole via. Let me just show you the via list just to clarify that. So if we go to Constraint Manager, we look at the physical rule. So physical constraints are all layers. We have the physical rule here. This is the default rule. I've got different rules here. I can click on the via cell and it would then show me the via list effectively. Let's just uh, change the viewer options a bit so you can see this slightly better. Get rid of the masks. And I close that and we'll just increase this. So you can see um, the via list effectively, the top of my via list is a, is a set of blind and buried vias going from layer one all the way down to layer six and you can see this kind of this graphical representation here um, so every time I, I choose the layers I would effectively get between the top and power it would add a combination of the blind and buried vias by using the double dot and then selecting the choice to get a through hole via and I can pick the vias that I want so you can set this up as you want by default you just normally just get one single through hole via um, but you can have as many vias in the vial list as you want and that drives the working layer mode